my air conditioner's fan stopped spinning. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the capacitor for your air conditioning unit and how to do so for about $20 by buying a piece online. So since my AC fan stopped spinning, I'd have to turn it on and then use the longest screwdriver that I could find to go to the AC unit, reach far inside, and then spin the blades clockwise. That would usually get it started up, but sometimes it was back and forth. Sometimes it would start without that. Sometimes even if I used that, it wouldn't start up. And the problem here is with the capacitor, it has two functions. One is to start the fan, another is to continue it turning. So the part of my capacitor that was starting the fan was broken. All right, AC is off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first come to the breaker, the breaker box, which I actually have out here. Let me see if I can get this thing. Ooh, fill down. AC. Let's do that one. Ah, forget it. I'll get it later. Okay. Next, there's another power power thing to pull out. There you go. Okay, it says on off. We'll pull you out. All right, there you go. I set you up here. So now this thing should be off, even though all that I'm trying to do is get inside there. Now that leads to no, 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 no. This deal, this box right here, and I think that's where the capacitor is at, and that's what I think is the problem with this. So uh, in order to get these weirdos off. I was not able to fit anything within my toolbox. I just had to use my little nose pliers. So what I can tell you about these screws is that they are a pain in the butt. And if you have the right socket wrench, then you could probably use that tool to, to rotate these screws off. I didn't have that, I had to use a wrench. Behold, my brother, and it is there within the confines of the shaft that thou shalt find your failed capacitor. I see a dead spider hanging in there and some other stuff. And this is what I'm looking at right here is the capacitor. So step number one is to find out what kind of capacitor I have so that I can order it off of the internets. So go ahead and take a picture of the capacitor, make sure that you get a good clear snap so that you can type down all the information when you're looking for it online. And what I did was I went on Amazon and I was able just to type in that first line, the 45 slash five microfarads plus or minus 6% and then the code CBB65B and then it was able to just pop right up right there. I tried the same thing with eBay, but I was finding too many already used, uh, a little bit more expensive because of the shipping that kind of deal. I just felt that it was a little bit more safe with Amazon. I'm going to put a link in the description below to my exact capacitor, but the one that I have might not be the one that you need. You need to search for your uh, capacitor's information online and then uh, make the best match out of that. Alrighty, this is what I bought. Let's open it up and check it out. Looks promising. There you go. So go ahead and head back outside, take the cover off of the AC. See, it's very important that you wear these gloves, rubber, or leather, or something. Because ah! <laughs> I joke, no? Ha <laughs> ha! But for real, the capacitor can actually hold a small electric charge, so that's why you take a screwdriver. Don't touch the metal part and touch it to the capacitor, maybe the top part where the, where the three prongs are, and that should discharge the electricity from there. From there, it should be safe to work on the capacitor. So remember the order of these three wires, you're going to reconnect them in the same order with the new capacitor. And what you do here is you take each individual wire and you wiggle, 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 
until each one of them pops off. You see the wires that you're pulling at, they are the female side, and you're putting them on the male prongs, well, which you just actually took them off of. Now, you can't really see it very clear in the video. I should have done a better job of this, but there's a metal strip that's connected uh, to that capacitor holding it in place. What I was able to do was use a socket wrench um, to disconnect this one, and you're going to use that same metal strip and hook it around the new capacitor and reattach it. And uh, this really was a pain in the butt for me because as you can see, m the place where my capacitor is at is smack right up against the bricks of my, of my house. Um, it's just a really awkward position and I, and I really wanted to get a good uh, angle shot, but it was just, it was just too much for me to do. Next, this is probably the best uh, view that you're gonna get of this. You've got the female portion that you're putting on the male prong. Um, and then I'm putting the other ones on as well. The blue one goes on the close blue inside and then the yellow one goes on the far inside. It's just gotta push down onto one of these, one of these uh, prongs that are standing up and then yellow. All right, before I close it up, I want to check and see if it's working. Yep. Great. I gotta go turn it on. It's not hooked in. You can hit it upside down. Yep. So after that, you put your cover back on and then you've got your AC back. I'd like to talk about why I think this happened to me in particular, because I haven't been putting Clorox down my drain pipe as often as I need to, and it filled up with mold and mildew and junk, and then the safety switch also filled up with water. It couldn't take the water out of the house anymore, it was just backing up into the pipe. So the whole electric panel turned off. We weren't able to get the AC on at all. Well, what I did was I cleaned that all out. I poured some Clorox down there, poured some water, and it was flowing, flowing very well. And then afterwards, the panel would turn on, the motor would turn on to the AC, but the fan would not spin. And that's really the cause of my problem right there. So guys, if you liked this video, if you found it helpful, please click the like button. It will help other people to find this video as well, and it will help me out. And uh, I appreciate it. Thank you.